What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we got a lot to talk about. There's actually a operator skin called the Hungry Pain skin that many people don't know about that you're gonna be able to unlock. There's also some other free operator skins that we're gonna go over and talk about how you'll be able to get them the different types of events and all the news that you need to know about going on currently in Call of Duty. So if you find the video helpful or informative at any point, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest Call of Duty news and updates. Also, quick reminder, I did post a video yesterday where we went over some season two reloaded content upcoming events a brand new ultra skin rebirth island the first look that we have for that so if you miss any of that news i'll have it linked in the description and over on my warzone channel I posted a guide on how to complete the new easter egg that will unlock you the soa subvitter regal weapon blueprint i'll also have that link down in the description before we get into it a quick word from our sponsor messymoddingstore.com it's a store that can get you the most exclusive operators help you complete your mastery camo challenges and much more and the reason why i promote them is they do everything 100 legit without using mods or unlock tools and not to mention they have some of the best reviews so check them out the link will be down in the description a brand new event has now gone live for the weekend this brings in double xp double weapon xp and double battle pass xp which is now live until monday march 11th and that'll be ending at 10 a.m pacific standard time and this double xp event can help you complete the dune rule of fate one because it is xp based if you want to level up your soa subvitter or just level up in general just wanted to let you guys know about that jumping into the next topic call of duty dropped new information in regards to warzone mobile they said that it will now support the use of controllers upon launch and that includes xbox and playstation along with the new partnership with backbone as the official controller partner for warzone mobile and they mentioned and dropped like a little trailer just so you can see that it's basically a controller device that sticks on your phone and makes it look like you're playing on either the nintendo switch or like on a psp of some sort and that's something i'll have it linked down in the description if you're interested in seeing that or purchasing it but anyways those are just some new random topics that we had for call of duty that were announced today another thing that i wanted to mention is the main topic Topic for the video and that is the new hunger pains anime operator skin this is just an early showcase of what this operator skin looks like as of right now it has not yet released but i'll show you guys how you're going to be able to get her this is going to be a new operator skin for jet she was added with the season two reloaded update but what makes this operator skin unique is she's not in a bundle meaning that it's not a regular standard store operator skin where she comes into the shop and then you could just purchase her bundle along with her tracers but they're actually doing it in a different way call of duty is marketing her as a a free bonus skin but you already know that's not really the case because they're gonna try and charge you and it works in the same exact way that we saw with the Fadekin stealth suit they're calling it a bonus operator skin reward that you can unlock but in return you need to purchase the Paul Atreides operator bundle which costs 2,400 cod points and then you have to get the Harkonnen tracer pack which also costs 2,400 cod points so basically you have to spend 4,800 cod points in order to unlock that operator they're actually doing the same thing here there's two different bundles these are called the Japanese food collection bundles the first one is called the wagyu and it features a weapon blueprint for the mcw the sad part is it doesn't even have tracer rounds or effects and then there's also a second weapon blueprint i'm not entirely sure which one that's for and then there's also another bundle this one is called the instant nudes new weapon and this features the rival nine and because they mentioned it is a new weapon bundle the other one is going to have the soa subvitter and each of them is going to cost you one is going to cost 1600 the other is going to cost 1800 this brings the total to 3400 cod points and and here's where the hunger pains operator skin comes in in order to unlock her you will need to purchase both of these bundles and then she will be unlocked as a bonus skin reward so technically it's like buy two get one free but at the same time it's really not free because you have to spend 30 something dollars in order to be able to get this operator skin in the first place and this is the second time they are doing this so i'm starting to think this might be a new marketing tactic that call of duty is going to continuously keep doing maybe they're going to start doing these with bigger and better operator skins to try and get people to to purchase more bundles from the store usually the weapon bundles that they introduce don't sell as much and depending on how the sales work out if people are fine purchasing these and they're willing to to get this operator skin then it might be something that call of duty will continuously do and just keep adding in into future updates there's also an additional weapon blueprint looks to be like it's going to be coming in a part of this operator so maybe she's not going to be the only thing that you will unlock but there's also going to be this weapon blueprint it also doesn't look like it has any trace surrounds or effects it's called the pink death and it comes in for the holger 26 and this is just like a little showcasing of that anyways let's talk about some actual free operator skins that you'll be able to get because i know some of you guys might be a little bit mad about this but the first one that we have is is koenig this is a skin that we did talk about the other day but this is yet again another operator that was added that's not tied to a bundle it doesn't look like it's going to have any sort of promotion like this in the same way that we saw the other one have and then on top of that there's also another reward that looks to be like a calling card or loading screen or something like that and cod warfare said at a guess i'd say the new skin for koenig 
is going to be some sort of a reward. And this is actually a free skin that we've already seen in Warzone Mobile. There was an event over in Warzone Mobile last year where you were able to participate in it and unlock this as a free operator. But remember, because it was early access and it wasn't available worldwide, the majority of users weren't even able to access the game to try and participate in this event. It looks like they brought it over to PC and they might redo this event and have this as a free reward. But as of right now, it's unclear when it will be releasing. Maybe this is something for Season 3. We also have another two free operators. One of them is brand new. The first one, this one we talked about in the past, this is called the Safeguard Operator Skin, coming in as a part of the Operation Day Zero event with Warzone Mobile. Apparently, this might even cross over into PC and console, so we'll be able to get this as well if we participate in this. And this event will be starting on March 21st when Warzone Mobile releases. But then on top of that, there's also another new operator set that was just leaked with the Season 2 Reloaded update that's also tied to this. So according to COD Warfare, he believes that these are going to be the actual Operation Day Zero rewards. The first one that we have is a new gold version of the Ghost Condemned Operator skin. This is what he looks like, pretty much the same as the green version just a golden color. You also have a, I think, what is this, a sticker or a decal, something like that. Then you have two different weapon blueprints. We have, uh, we had the green version of these. This one was called the X-12 Prince of Hell. And then the second one was for the M4 called the Arc Fiend. These are just the same exact ones, just a gold version. And then they also have a brand new weapon charm and a matching emblem. So this looks like an entire bundle, but at the same time, it's not coming into the store. So he's saying that this might actually end up being a free reward because this was added into the PC version of the game now the biggest question is how will they do this event we've already seen photos of the operation day zero event and there was only three different rewards and challenges so first off we have the large decal and there was all these challenges you had to complete the second set was a sticker that you would unlock and the final set was the safeguard operator skin at stage three and there's only a total of three stages so it begs the question of will there be a part two of the operation day zero event will there be two different versions of it maybe one for warzone mobile and then one for pc I'm not entirely sure what's going on or how that's going to work out. Maybe they're going to do this as a part of a future event. They also never mentioned the original Green Ghost Condemned Operator skin. Is that also going to be Warzone Mobile exclusive? This is something we're probably going to have to wait until the official release of the game. According to leakers, some players are starting to see these events earlier on. For those of you guys who are brand new on PC, for example, you're starting to see the Warzone Day Zero events pop up. The rewards are available for you to grind out and actually complete. Maybe this is going to be an event only exclusive to new users. What I can say though is when Warzone Mobile releases, you will technically be considered a new user because you're hopping on Warzone Mobile for the first time. As long as you log into your main Call of Duty account and this event pops up for you and you complete it, you should be able to also get these rewards as well. But I hope it's not only exclusive to new people and it they, you know, they reward people who consistently play the game. But anyways, that's pretty much all that I have for you guys in regards to operator skins. There are other things that are going to be coming out. For example, we have a early multiplayer gameplay from Bob Network. This shows the Bass B lever action amp which is a brand new aftermarket part that will be releasing sometime during this update within the weekly challenges so completing five out of the seven you'll unlock this it doesn't include the tracers it's only the aftermarket part and he says that it's very overpowered in multiplayer and he tested it out it's not going to be that good for warzone it pretty much turns the bass p into like a longbow sniper type of class anyways that's pretty much all that i got for you guys here in this video if you found it helpful or informative don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button expect a lot of big videos to come out here soon we're probably going to talk about a little bit season three we have some new information in regards to the godzilla kong crossover we have more information on the upcoming operator bundles early showcasing i'm going to be covering a whole lot of videos here on the page so definitely make sure you are subscribed also be sure to check out my warzone page which is called trizzo warzone we cover all the meta loadouts we cover the easter eggs anything about warzone that you need to know i got you guys covered over on that page so definitely sub to it i'll have it linked down in the description but anyways that's all that i got for you guys thank you guys for tuning in it's been your boy trizzo and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.